Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Mirage. So, it's very simple. Two storms separated by 25 years. A woman murder. A daughter missed only 72 hours to discover the truth. It's on Netflix. So, again, got this tip from TikTok where they say one of the most mind-bending movies of all time. This is 2018. It's on Netflix. So, it's probably one of the most mind-bending movies on Netflix. Now, one guy recommended... Uh, Alvario Morte, I think is how you say his name. So he's in Money Heist. I recognize him. So he's the professor from the Money Heist, or Money Heist. Um, so we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I want to see what language it's in. Let's see if it's, I don't know if it's dubbed. Yeah, it's in Spanish. So we'll see if it's dubbed like Money Heist, which would be awesome. Um, or if you have to read it. But it's two hours, seven minutes long, something like that. But it's supposed to be good. 7.4 in IMDb, I want to say 53,000 maybe, people rated it so far, I'll tell you, hold on, uh, 54,000, 7.4, 54,000, so let's see, I'll get into it, it's on Netflix, so why not, stick around, it's a weekend too, so a longer film, alright, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching Mirage. We're at the 1 hour, 5 minute, 14 second mark. There's an hour and 4 minutes left. So, it's just about halfway through. So far, so good. And it's funny because as soon as I started watching it, I was like, how would I miss a film like this? 2018, right? And I, I kind of watch everything. If you guys watch my channel at all, you see just about anything and everything. Now, here's why. Um, prior to Money Heist, I would say, maybe not. Like, I didn't watch a lot of foreign made films um, films and I remember and this is why I remember seeing the preview for this when it came out and I was like I don't there like it was dubbed and I was like it's just oh this is a foreign film because the words that they're saying aren't matching up to what's coming out of their lips you know what I mean like so uh, and I and I wrote it off and I didn't want to watch it and that's why and then it just got lost and then I guess after I think it was Money Heist. Could have been something else. I don't know. But watching Money Heist was the one that sticks out in my mind. That was a dubbed show. Now that's a show. That's not a, a movie um, that I really enjoyed. And you know, I can look past the words not matching uh, what their um, lips are doing, right? And so since then, I've started to watch more foreign films, uh, at least foreign-speaking films, um, and I really enjoyed it. So, any I, long story short. If you previously had the same um, quirk as I did, you know, try and get to overcome that. Because so far this is pretty good. Now, it's nothing crazy, I don't think. Um, but I'll try and give you as much as I can because I think there's going to be a lot more to it that I won't share. But essentially, it starts off in 1989 uh, where the, the woman gets murdered right in the beginning and the kid um, gets killed, right? Um, and that's right in the beginning, not a spoiler alert or anything like that. Um, and the kid's making videos and stuff, um, singing and whatever. There's a lot more to this, of course, but that's what you need to know right now. Then fast forward 25 years later, this lady moves, this, her family moves into the, his house and, uh, you know, finds his tape and uh, his recordings and his old TV. And she's able to then somehow connect. Okay, won't we'll go into greater detail than that, but she's able to connect. And uh, essentially, what she, she, she starts to mess up the time-space continuum, if you will, is, is, is what's going to happen. Again, I don't want to go into greater detail than that, but that's all in the beginning. It's not a spoiler alert. Um, everything else you can find out on your own. And I do believe, I could be wrong, this isn't it. I think that piece is fine to share. I think this next hour is going to really mind bend because it can't be just about that the way uh, this film's rated so um so we'll see um so and it's all dubbed if i didn't mention that so there you go that's what i got um i'm gonna get back to it here i don't want to give you any more but uh i'm enjoying it and i'm glad i, w I probably wish i would have watched it back in 2018 a little late but hopefully those of you who might have been on the fence at least for that, or now over the fence, and I'll let you know if it's worth watching otherwise. Stick around, I'll be back.
Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Mirage. I have to say, I really did enjoy it. I, I liked it pretty much from start to finish. Um, and, um, I don't know, I, I mean, other people know this, but I always have a problem with time travel. Now, not so much movies about time travel, but movies that involve time travel. I've always said, you know, they can fix anything with time travel, right? But now this one's really a little bit more, um, you know, right out up in front. It's not like a movie that just throws it in at the end, like uh, like Back to the Future kind of stuff, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, because and I also think it always gets messy. Something about it always, I think it, it sets it up for so many different holes and, you know, opportunities and stuff like that. Um, that's the other thing about it. Movies about that and that kind of thing. So, so with that aside, I thought this one was pretty, pretty well done for the most part. Um, it's just the final piece, you know, like everything else. I, I don't, I don't a hundred percent get it to be, honest. I get, I shouldn't, you know what I mean? Like I, I get 99% of this. It's just that one last piece that I'm just like, Hmm. I don't know if I have to think about it more or what. So, so the rest of it is, I'll say pretty straightforward, easy to figure out. You know, it's not too complicated. Um, I even, you know, guessing my stuff throughout the way with the, the clues that they're giving you. Um, but uh, all the way up until that last piece. So, but... Other than that, it's a it's a phenomenal film. I'm disappointed I didn't get to see it back in 2018. Um, I liked I liked everything. I liked what they I liked the ending. Don't get me wrong. I thought um, I had to think through what I really wanted, and uh, you know, and decisions that were being made from the characters and stuff like that. And I was like, well, why wouldn't you? How about you know that kind of stuff? But as I thought through it, I'm like, oh, okay, no, no, no cool, clean, um, like it, you know, so there's nothing wrong there, it's just that, that extra little piece there, so I will talk about it for those of you who haven't seen it, um, so I'm not, not right now, but uh, for any end, uh, definitely a seven for me, um, I bet you it probably would have been an eight or nine in 2018, but now it seems, I don't know. I, I can't believe like it's 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 only what four years old. It feels like it's older, but uh, and the, the dubness doesn't bother me at all. The rest of it all makes makes good sense. There's just that one gap that I'm missing that keeps it, and it could be just me. Maybe you didn't get it. So there you go. That's what I got for you. Um, hopefully, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's a lot of good to it. So then I'm gonna talk a little bit more. Okay, so, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. <coughs> now, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but I just have a question. Like, why doesn't he remember? That's my thing. <clears throat> you know, because according to what I've watched, he meets her initially has to, tries to reconnect again, reconnects with himself, and then he makes him do something, which I get, he makes him probably not, makes him do something, but yet he doesn't remember. Why doesn't he remember? Like, he should, he should be like, oh, you were the initial one, and then I came back and told myself, and so yes, I remember, but... So that one doesn't make sense to me. That's that's where my everything goes down the tubes. Like I thought as soon as she turned around, he's gonna be like, Oh my goodness. And it's all gonna click. Now, he wouldn't have fa fallen in love and all that kind of stuff with her. I get that, but he should remember her from that moment that kick started this whole thing, so and saved his life from getting hit by the car. I mean that's the piece that I don't get, so you know. Want to drop me some comments? Go ahead, try and not spoil it for anybody else. Just talk in code, and I will promise to read those ones. So, that was a fun night. Hopefully, you had fun too. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.